Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to the fourth video on console multiphysics. In the previous video, we talked about uh, structures or building geometry in console. Today, we are going to see some more structures and their and some operations on them. So, as you can see, this is this uh, rectangle or square from the previous uh, video. Uh, now, we are going to see some other structures as you can see if, you, if i right click on the geometry i am provided with many structures like circle ellipse uh, square rectangle polygon parametric curve and some many other things first of all let uh, me uh, introduce to you a very important uh, parameter that is uh, measure so measure we can uh, measure any dimension of the structures so we can see there are uh, four options object domain boundary point let me demonstrate uh, each one so first of all uh, uh, with object uh, we have to select a uh, object here so only uh, square is available here so we select the whole object so we can see its uh, measurement are provided here like edges are four points are four and number of uh, domains are one from the rectangle if we go to the rectangle settings we can see the width is five height is five and in the measurement tab sorry uh, there's no extra tab for measurement so let me see measure and here it is we can see that this object has four edges and four points and this is a, a single domain object now if we uh, choose the domain again we choose this domain and we can see that the area is 25 nanometer square as we have seen that the edges are 5 nanometers so 5 into 5 equal 25 nanometer squares and the perimeter is 20 nanometer obviously 5 into 4 equal 20 now if we choose the boundary now we are not able to select the whole object we are uh, given with the edges we need to select the edges so we select one edge and we can see it's 5 nanometer if we select another the length the total length is 10 nanometer if we select another it's 15 and last of all is 20 and now if we choose the point only we can see four points now if we choose the points okay if we choose one point the coordinates is given here another point x distance 5 nanometer y distance 0 that means in point option get the coordinates but one thing is that we cannot take any inner points of the object so we are provided with the edge points of the object okay now we want to build some other geometries let us build a circle so this is a circle we need to provide the radius there uh, let us say the radius is uh, 3 nanometer and let us keep this one as okay let us keep this as 1 and 1. Now if we build the object, we can see that there is a separate circle. So we can see now there are two objects. One is that rectangle and other is the uh, circle. So if you want to measure the circles, uh, but before that, what are these things? Sectangle 360 degree. 
what if we change it to 180 degree and now you see that it's a half circle and if we want 90 degree okay so you can see this is one foot of the circle and this is the center coordinates of the circle rotation if we change it to uh, 45 the circle is rotated now uh, let me do this for 180 degree okay this will be helpful for our uh, next demonstration and these are not our concerned parameters we, as i told in the previous lecture if we add any layer like uh, one nanometer layer so there will be a layer so we don't want any layer we just skip it okay we can't not give zero here we just have to give it empty okay not this so let us just delete this yeah. now it's as the same now if we want to measure the circle so we choose the water circle and we can see it has three edges and three points and if we choose the rectangle now we can see there are two domains means two separate objects edges are totally 4 plus 3 equals 7 and points 2 so if we use a boundary so this one the length is given this one the length is given so uh, all are like previous now we want to uh, demonstrate another geometry that is the polygon it's an important geometry so you can see uh, there is the same option solid not same actually solid closed curve open curve so we will go one by one and the data source are given as vectors or file or table so if you choose file or table you have to insert the specific file containing the coordinates of the parameter uh, polygon or if you choose table you have to fill out the table so if you want to give the uh, coordinates in the form of vectors we need to type the x and y coordinates let us just take our x as one then a comma three comma five okay and the y let us take zero two sorry comma two and seven and now build so you can see a polygon has been created and the points are this is one zero this is three two and this is five seven and this is a solid so if we choose close curve we'll see that the curve is closed what's the difference look carefully so previously it was a shaded area and now this isn't if we choose open curve only the points will be connected so it's not a, a polygon anymore it's a curve now uh, let us 
edit the polygon uh, or we can disable it what is the advantage of disabling a uh, geometry so the advantage is you don't have to uh, delete it and if it is needed later you can just enable it and use like enable it and build so for our part let us disable it and build so uh, this is enough for this one we will talk about the operations and modifications in next video please subscribe this channel uh, to help me to keep it up thank you everyone